Welcome back to Technus Corner, your go-to channel for all things tech. I'm your host, Seb Luca, and today we're kicking off an exciting new series on ethical hacking. In this video, we'll dive into the basics of ethical hacking and how you can become an ethical hacker. So, let's get started. Chapter 1, The Foundation of Ethical Hacking Before we dive into the world of ethical hacking, it's essential to have a solid foundation in various areas of cybersecurity. Let's take a look at what you need to know. First, you need to understand networking essentials, such as network protocols, IP addressing, and network architecture. This knowledge forms the backbone of communication between devices. Next, get familiar with operating systems like Windows, Linux, and macOS. Understanding their command line interfaces, file systems, and user management is crucial. Lastly, programming basics are essential. Learning languages like Python, Java, or C of C++ will help you automate tasks and develop tools for ethical hacking. Chapter 2, Information Gathering. Once you have a solid foundation, it's time to gather information about the target system. Let's explore some techniques to help you get started. Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT, involves using publicly available information from search engines, social media, and online databases to gain insights about the target system. Additionally, scanning and enumeration techniques, using tools like NMAP, help identify open ports, services, and operating systems running on the target system. Chapter 3, Vulnerability Assessment Now that we have gathered information, it's time to assess vulnerabilities in the target system. Let's explore some key steps in this phase. Vulnerability scanning tools like Nessus or OpenVAS can help identify known vulnerabilities in the target system. Additionally, web application testing tools like OWASP ZAP or Burp Suite can be used to assess the security of web applications and identify common vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XSS, and insecure direct object references, IDOR. Chapter 4, Exploitation Techniques. This chapter covers various techniques to gain an authorized access to systems. Remember, these techniques should only be used on systems with proper authorization. Password attacks involve cracking passwords using methods like dictionary attacks, brute force attacks, and rainbow table attacks. Additionally, social engineering techniques like phishing, pretexting, and tailgating exploit the human factor in security breaches. Chapter 5, Post-Exploitation and Reporting. After successfully compromising a system, it's important to maintain access, gather evidence, and prepare a comprehensive report. Let's explore this phase. Privilege escalation techniques help you gain deeper access and control on compromised systems. Data exfiltration methods allow you to extract sensitive data without raising suspicion. Finally, documenting your findings and providing clear and concise reports is essential for effective communication with clients or stakeholders. And there you have it, our guide to becoming an ethical hacker. Remember, ethical hacking is a powerful skill when used responsibly. Stay tuned to Technus Corner for upcoming videos where we'll delve deeper into advanced ethical hacking techniques. I'm Sibluka, and I'll catch you in the next video. Happy hacking!